Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Annie Z with What If Bell Had The Boosted Gear Part 1. So let's get started. Bell was walking in the dungeon, thinking of the way his goddess and familiar treated him. In this one, Hestia had a lot of familiar and a level 6 adventurer who she adored more than Bell. Basically, she replaced like replaced Cannonball the attitude that Hestia has with Cannonball with like uh the OC that I've created, whose name is Win. Okay. Ever since Rin, a level 6 adventurer from outside of Orario joined Hestia's familiar, Hestia had treated him like a dog. He made him, she made him clean Rin's armor and made him cook food for him and while she coddled him and threw him out, made him sleep on the floor. And that's not it. Once word got out that Hestia had a level 6 adventurer, many adventurers joined Hestia's familiar. They all treated him like crap. They used him as a training dummy. They made him sleep outside saying, Oh, a worthless adventure like you shouldn't even sleep near successful adventures like us and other stuff. All in all, it sucked. This is nothing like Grandpa said. He said that gods and goddesses care for their children, like their, their own children. But Hestia, she treats me like garbage and she cuddles Rin. The familiar make me do everything that they don't want to do. And ever since it started, they all hate me, call me names like the trash of the familiar, they tried to kill me, and so much more. I hate this, why me? I just want to be a hero like the Argonaut, Bell said, depressed, as he followed the rest of his familiar. For some reason, Hestia today wanted me to go with the familiar. She says that perhaps I could use some more experience, but the way she talked to me kind of makes me scared, but I can't deny her or I lose my farmer, Bell said. Ren's point of view. Alright guys, Lee managed to lure one of the Minotaurs with his skill Beast Law and Beast Control. It's a level 2 beast. It should be enough to kill that stupid weak rabbit. But we have to do this quick. Word has it that the Sword Princess has caught, caught on to this and is currently chasing down the Minotaur as we speak. Ren says, Yes, finally we're going to get rid of that stupid stain, Lee said. Yeah, what took Lady Hestia so long? But anyways, this is the end anyways, said another. Well, we all know why she never got rid of Bell. She, Bell. she didn't want to look bad in front of the other gods. But hey, we're doing God's work here, or Goddess's work here, by preventing him from experiencing more misery than he has to. He's too weak, he makes us look weak, and he's a disgrace to his familia. We gave him so many chances to leave. I mean, anytime we do something good, the rabbit messes it up and makes us look bad. How can he still be a level 1 when all of us are above level 4? But hey, perhaps after I after we get this guy killed and our familiar will look stronger, Loki would probably agree to marry Eyes, the sword princess, to myself, Rin said. Hey, Rin, sharing is caring, said the friend. <laughs> Maybe, Rin said, jokingly. There he is. Now control that beast and make it kill that stupid rabbit, Rin said as they got towards Bell. Okay, Captain, replied Lee. Bell now has a sword in his hand as he was cutting some goblins. As he saw his familiar come up to him. Hey guys, are we leaving Bell set before he was stabbed by Rin? We are leaving. You are fighting this Minotaur weakling. Actually, you're dying to that Minotaur, you stupid stain on the familiar. Did you really think we would let you live? This was all a setup. Lady Hestia agreed to having you killed. You're preventing us from rising up with your weak, pathetic ass. Lady Hestia has had enough and she agreed to this. It only took a bit of convincing on my half, but now she wants you dead. Even if you make it out, you're gonna get kicked out, you idiot, so you might as well die. Look, her farmer's about to leave you. It already has left you, actually. It's fully gone now. She did it before you left, Rin said, laughing. Bell was in a puddle of his own blood from the sword mark that Rin left on him. As he saw the Minotaur swing for him, his familiar, no, those traitors were gone. They left him. He saw a blonde girl rushing towards him, but he knew it was too late. She wouldn't be able to save him. He would be dead. He just knew it. Why? I just wanted to be a hero. Sorry, Grandpa. I chose the wrong familiar. They were just monsters. More monstrous than the monsters in these than the monsters in this dungeon can be. I wish I could have the power to at least see my savior and thank her for trying to help me, Bell said. Bell then started to black out, but then was surrounded by fire. Crimson fire, as he saw a giant red dragon that looked really powerful. Ho! Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen someone. No, I haven't seen anyone since my last host. Tell me, boy, do you require power? Do you want to survive this and be a hero? The dragon says, power? You can give me power? 
Bell said desperately. Yes, boy, I can give you power. Power beyond anything this world can offer you. Beyond any, anything the gods themselves can give you, the dragon said. Yes, I need power, please help me, Bell said. Very well, partner, go forth and show the power of the Red Dragon Emperor and bring forth domination, Dre said as Bell felt his wound close, as he felt something scaly on his wound. Then his arms started to feel powerful as a red gauntlet made out of dragon skills emerged. Boost, he heard, as he felt power rush into him, as he quickly avoided the attack of the mind tool. Impossible, what speed? He's, he was near death a m moment ago, and now... And now, he's moving at the speed of a level 2, I said. Boost! Bell heard that again as he moved faster, avoiding more strikes, shocking eyes as he was now moving at the level of a level 3 speed of a level 3 adventure. Partner, your body won't be able to last much longer. You have to end it. Imagine all your power in your hand and launch it, making an energy beam, Drake said as Bell did what he was told, surprising both himself and eyes at the power he held. This was comparable to a low level 4 and a high level 3. As he launched the energy at the Minotaur, the bull turning into a beam as both eyes and bell heard dragon shot before it was fired, completely eradicating the monster and destroying the walls nearby. Eyes stared in shock. She knew who he was, bell of the Hestia Familia, who they called the stain and the weakest adventurer. She felt sorry for him, he was like a cute little bunny. She never really hated him and saw him as someone who was really courageous, who wanted to become a hero no matter what other people said about him. But what she saw today contradicted what has been said about him. He was supposed to be a level 1, but somehow he was able to get level 3 speed. Eyes then quickly bowed to Bell as she saw him about to pass out, making it just in time for Bell's head to land on her assets. Eyes then put him on her lap, giving him the lap pillow, the legendary lap pillow, as she stroked her hair, and she felt like she was just petting a little bunny. A few minutes later, Bell woke up as he felt something soft. He hadn't felt like this in a long time since he hasn't been on a bed since since about four months ago. Did Hestia finally take pity on him? Was she impressed that he killed that minor tool? He was shaken out of his thoughts when he heard a roar and he looked to see the blonde girl that was holding his head on her lap putting him down gently as she got up and saw three other minotaurs. Eyes with blinding speed rushed and cut them up. Bell was mesmerized. She took, she, she took them out with complete ease while I had to use all my power. I want to be just like her, to match in strength, to be with her. Unknown to Bell, he had unlocked a skill, a skill that will allow him to grow quicker than any other and coupled with the boosted gear, that skill will make him stronger than anyone in this world. Eyes then walked up to Bell as she helped him up. I'm Eyes. I helped make sure that you were okay. But I have to get back to my familiar now. It's just a straight path up. I hope we meet again, I said. As Bell nodded. As Eyes thought that he looked like a cute bunny when he was nodding. Bell walked out of the dungeon. Where he saw a pissed off Hestia. As she mentioned for him to follow her. When they were in an alleyway, she turned around. You can't do anything right, can you? You can't even die right. You were meant to die there. Well, Bell... Henceforth, you are no longer part of the Hestia Familia. Good luck draining another. You weak, disgraceful adventurer. Now take everything he has, boys, Hestia says as she removed her mark and Bell was ambushed by the Hestia Familia. All his crystals, everything he had taken, his sword, his dagger, his armor, all taken or broken, only leaving him in his rags that he is wearing. And don't come back. Everything you own is now part of the Hestia Familia, which means it's my wins. Now get the hell out of it. I hope that you die for your sake and or you also or you give up on your foolish hero endeavor. You're a disgrace to this familia. You should leave a Aurario. You disgust me, Hestia says. Well walked sad towards the hostess of fertility. He hated doing this, but he was going to have to ask Miss Sir for help. He has Nothing, not even a dime to his name. No familia. Partner, I know that you're going through something bad, but it's time that I explain more about your power. The dragon boy said. Dragon summer, is that you? Bell asked, not knowing that if the voice was correct or if it was a hallucination. Oh, most people would have thought that I was a figment of imagination. 
at the time, the dragon said, uh, I just wanted to thank you for helping me, but I don't know uh, how. What, what should I call you? Bell said, you're welcome and we could talk about that later. You could talk to me mentally. Using your thoughts, you could communicate to me mentally. It will be automatically sent to me if the thoughts that you think about are for me and vice versa. Now let us practice. The dragon said, okay, Bell mentally thought. Good, that's the way. Now people won't think that you're crazy talking out loud or mentally insane and that. And by the way, my name is Drake and you are my partner, Drake said. Drake then told him all about the basics of the booster gear, hoping Bell would use his power wisely rather than greedily. Unconsciously, Bell continued his way towards the hostess of fertility. So, the situation you are in is not looking good, but you made the right call. That Seer has divine aura, which means she is probably able to get you into another familiar, Drake said. Bell, are you okay? Bell heard as he was snapped out from hearing Seer's voice as she smothered him in between her chest. W what do you mean? Bell asked. I, I heard that Hestia kicked you out of your familiar. They were bragging about it when they got here. And they also said how you got caught in between them and the mind tour and how they had to save you and how you're a leech. And that's the reason why they kicked you out. I didn't believe them though, Seer said. No, that didn't happen, Bell said, as his tummy growled, ma making him blush as Seer giggled. Well, then let's get you some food, Seer said, and was pudding, but Bell stopped her. Um, I don't really have any money. They took everything. I was lucky to even have my clothes, Bell said, as Seer released her killing intent, which didn't affect her, Bell. That really, ugh, I can't deal with this right now. Don't worry, Bell, I'll pay for your food. You can just stay here with me until you can get back to your feet, Seer said as Bell started to blush. But how can I get back to my feet? No familiar would accept me. I'm just useless. I'm just useless, Bell said as Seer hugged him. Uh, I could probably try to get you into mine. Don't worry, Bell. Just be happy, okay? Seer said as Bell felt like his problems were gone when he saw her smile at her, at him. Bell then followed Seer into the host of fertility where he sat down and she paid for his food. After a few minutes, Bell had entered a group of adventurers have entered, but what caught Belle's eyes was the Sword Princess eyes, the girl who had saved her. As after a few minutes, Belle had finished eating and was now enjoying himself drinking and talking to Sir when he heard, And that freaking weakling, who does he think he is being an adventurer? He couldn't even defeat a single Minotaur. He was beaten black and blue. I heard from Rin, Rin himself that they had to save him. And eyes, you had to save him as well, didn't you? didn't you when they left him that weakening had no right to be near you i mean can you imagine him being your partner he'll ruin your reputation i mean between me and that weak rabbit who i heard was abandoned by his own familiar for being the weakest in the familiar out of the weakest of all of the familiars who would you choose it also pr it also proves that how worthless he is he was the weakest of the weakest and even the weakest didn't want him the werewolf said as Bell's anger started to rise, I bet his mum committed suicide to get away from him. That disgrace, he said, as a green energy started to emit from Bell, sending everyone flying away, even Loki, as they all hit the wall. Most being knocked out, only Eyes, Finn, Loki and Seer were conscious. Eyes then ran out after Bell, but they missed him. Bell, when he released that power wave, heard few, uh, two things, boosted gear, second liberation. As now Bell was running towards the dungeon. Bell was destroying monsters with his crimson flame unknowingly. He was unconsciously destroying everything in blind rage with his, with his flames surrounding his body. In Bell's mind, all he could hear was destroy, show them a path of domination, burn them in crimson purgatory. Before Bell could lose his mind, he heard a familiar voice. That is no way for the next Red Dragon Emperor to act. Don't lose yourself or you'll lose her. Are you really a dragon? Are you really going to let yourself get angry over what that little wolf, what, what, after what that little puppy said to you? You're a dragon. Being affected by that weak alpha wannabe is disgraceful, Drake said as Bell started to calm down and he started to regain his composure as when Bell calmed down, he saw that he was on floor 17, seeing mana crystals everywhere. Bell had went on a blind rage spree destroying monsters everywhere. Now he was on floor 17 with crystals everywhere. Bell then regained his full composure to see the flames of purgatory 
still burning, stopping any monsters from spawning as they were dying straight away. Partner, the flames will burn for a few hours. I suggest that you get somewhere safe before they run out and monsters start spawning or you'll be in trouble. Rick said as Bell met me thanked him. He heard that he remembered from he then remembered that he heard from his ex familia that the 18th floor was a safe zone where monsters can't spawn. He then ran down to that lower floor, picking up all the crystals of the monsters on the way. When he got there, he collapsed until some random adventurer found him and took him to his camp. When Bell woke up, he was scolded by the experienced adventurer for doing something so reckless. This adventurer was Shin. He was a level 6 adventurer of the Ganesha family. He then offered to teach Bell how to survive in a dungeon and teach him well, the basics of the dungeon and basic combat as he told Bell that in a few days, his party will be going back to the surface and offered to take Bell along with him after Bell explained the situation. Time skip 3 days. Bell has been trained on how to survive a dungeon and in basic speed and strength training. Shin was impressed that Bell had no farmer and managed to make it here. He also thought that that boy was either special or crazy, but he would decide on that later. Right now he had to make sure that everybody got out alive. Time skip. Bell had managed to make it out of the dungeon safely with the party of Shin. He then went to the guild where Alina scolded him for what he had done and she also looked very worried and also sad as she heard him being kicked out of the familia. Bell, you're gonna have to find a new familia or you won't be able to go to the lower floors. I don't know how you made it down to level 17 but you can't continue like that. But if you want to join a new familiar, I suggest you join the Loki familiar. And he just said, Hell no, I'm not joining those arrogant pricks, Bell yelled as his eyes turned green and aura came around him, scaring and surprising Alina. Well, you need to join a familiar then, uh, just anyone, Alina said, as Bell nodded. As Bell thought back about it, he was then a bit disappointed in himself. Oh man, Shin had already left to go back to the dungeon, Bell said, as he pro promised to join a new familiar and decided that if he couldn't join the familiars this time around he would just ask Shin to recommend him for the Ganesha familiar. As then after that he went to cash in the mana crystals. Bell was surprised. He got a chest full of money. Like a huge chest. As Bell's eyes was w widened. He remembered that he had been so far away from Saiyan that she would probably be worried and that he probably had to pay her back for the food that she paid for at that time. Bell rushed towards the tavern, where once Say caught eyes with his, she ran up to him and glomped him. Bell, where have you been? I was so worried, Say said. Bell handed her the money as she got paid. I, I just wanted to get you back your money. And, you know, after what that stupid dog said, I got a little bit angry and went to the dungeon, Bell told her. As Say remembered what happened, she told him to lift his face as she kissed him on the cheek. As Bell started to blush, I I'm glad you're okay, Say said. Time skip. Bell had been training and hung around with Seir for the week. Bell was then called to Seir's room and she told him she had a surprise. When Bell walked in, she told him to sit down on the bed right next to her. Bell was nervous and blushing a lot. This was the first time he was near a woman. This will have some... Okay, so before we continue on, yeah, this will have some spoilers about like Seir and who she truly is. So yeah, caution, like you've been warned in it. Bell, I need to tell you something. It's important. I'll tell you who I really am, Seir said, as she glows and Seir turned even more beautiful. I'm the goddess Freya, Bell, and I want you to be, be part of my familia, Freya said with a smile as Bell blushed. What happened to Seir? Bell asked, causing Freya to giggle. I'm Seir, my little rabbit. Now, how would you like to join my familia? Freya asked as Bell's eyes widened. An invitation to the strongest familia. Bell thought about it. He had some PTSD about being part of a familiar because of the way Hestia's familiar treated him. But he then started to contact Drake. Trust the partner, Drake said, as he was knocked out of what Drake was saying to him when he heard Freya speak. Don't worry my little rabbit, I won't let anybody hurt you again, Freya said, as Bell decided to accept the offer and trust Dr Drake and say, as Freya put Bell on the bed and did the farmer ritual, making Bell part of her familiar. As Bell Stats were read by Freya, she was shocked. Velcanel, level 1. Title, Longinus, the God Slayer. Red Dragon Emperor, Dragon of Domination. Strength, SSS. Endurance, SSS. 
Dexterity, SSS, Agility, SSS, Magic, SSS, Dragon Energy, SSSS, Magic, Dragon Shot, Draconian Magic, Crimson Flames, Skills, Sacred Gear, Boosted Gear, Second Liberation, which has the skills Dragon Affinity, Boost, ten, uh, boost Level every 10 seconds, Explosion Reset and Transfer. Fay was shocked she fell off Bell, as before she could fall over the bed, Bell quickly caught her in his arms, as Freya started to blush. Sit, are you okay? Bell said, even more worried. Yes, I was just shocked. I knew Hesty was stupid, but to throw you away is the pinnacle of being stupid, Freya said. Bell awoke to a feeling of cushions on his face. When he looked up, he blushed. God is Freya, Bell yelled as he stumbled backwards and fell off his bed, causing Freya to wake up as she stretched her body and showing her assets to Bell as she rubbed her eyes cutely, making Bell turn red as he tried to avoid looking. Ah, my cute little bunny, good morning, Freya said. Lady Freya, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sleep with you, Bell started out. Don't worry, I love sleeping with you, and it wasn't your fault, my little bunny. You passed out after having your farmer aw awakened, Freya said. But anyways, get ready, my little bunny. Monster phobia is beginning tomorrow, Freya said. What's that? Bell asked. Don't worry, anyways, I think it's time that we got ready to go to the gods banquet. You're gonna be my plus one. You're gonna be coming with me, my little bunny, Freya said as she started to caress her his cheeks with her fingers making Belle blush. Uh, sure, Belle said. You need a good tuxedo, don't worry. I will get you one. We have to show our familiar's power and wealth, Freya said. So, you are my partner's goddess. I am Drake, the dragon that lives within him. After he's free, I will be training him. He needs to train or my power can damage him and his body. And one more thing, don't ever hurt my partner or it will be the end for you. And it won't be pretty, Drake said out of nowhere. I'll keep that in mind, Mr. Drake. You should know who I am and not to fetter me. And plus, I will never hurt my bunny. The only man worthy enough to stand beside me, Freya says. Make sure you don't, and partner. After this, I have to train you before you go into the dungeons again. But you should get ready now, Drake said. Time skip, an hour. Belle and Freya had went shopping where Belle got a tuxedo and Freya got herself a dress. They were making their way towards the banquet. People were having fun when everyone stopped as Belle and Freya walked in. Is that Lady Freya with the failure of the Hestia Familia? Uh, I heard he got kicked out of the Hestia Familia. No way, that damn lucky weak rabbit. Why is it always the cute ones? Ah, uh, Gizest is adorableness. The only reason why Freya goes out with her, he's nothing special. How? How did that failure join the Freya Familia? was what Bell heard as it took all of Freya's willpower not to unleash a bloodlust on the people that were insulting her little bunny, Bell. Freya and Bell started to dance. After the dance, Hestia came with Rin, while Loki came with eyes as they made their way towards Bell and Freya. So Freya got a new boy to toy. Might not be strong, but he looks absolutely adorable. I might have to take him away from you, Loki teased. Sorry, but he's not for trade and never will be, Freya said as she hugged Bell, arm between her breasts. Ha 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 ha, would you look at that? Who would have thought that the great familia of Freya would take in the Hestia familia's failure? Perhaps you've fallen and you, Bell, you couldn't just lay down and stay down like I told you to. But see if I care. You're not my pro f familia's problem anymore, Hestia said. Why would you choose him, Lady Freya? I would have been a much better choice. I'm a level 6 adventurer and he's a level 1 piece of trash and loser that holds us back. But I guess you're all beauty and no brains, unlike my Hestia over here, Rin says. What are you talking to? You, Rin, you're talking to the goddess of the strongest familiar. Not your goddess who's the weakest and probably let you speak that way, Bell said. Hmm, it seems the familiar slave has a backbone. Did Freya really haul herself to you to get... Confidence, Rin says. Freya looked at Bell as there was a flashback. When Bell entered the banquet, Freya discussed to Bell about a way to get their reputation back, which was to lie that Bell left to join Freya's familia instead of getting kicked out of the Hestia familia. You watch yourself, mortal. Unless you want you and your goddess out for Rayo. Plus, it's not like Bell was kicked out. He has abandoned your weak familia for my one. I offered him a chance to join a strong familia and he accepted. I mean, it makes me wonder why you're so angry with Bell if he was kicked out. Obviously, you're just angry that Bell left your familia. That's the reason why you're trying to 
take out your anger on him, Freya said, trying to raise Belle's reputation and Lois Hestia's. As all the familiars started to laugh, oh my goodness, Belle Cornell ditched the Hestia familia. Imagine getting left behind by that weak Belle Cornell. The Hestia familia must be really weak or not worthy if the weakest member, the weakest ever adventurer ditched them. Was what was heard as Hestia and Rin started few. So, this was your plan, Freya. Lower my reputation and increase yours as well as Belle's. Well, guess what? He's still just a useless disgrace and I will get my revenge, Hestia said as she and Rin bolted out. Ha 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 ha. Freya, you would never fail to amuse me, Loki says. As Belle saw Rin starting to bother her eyes, who looked uncomfortable and was about to attack. Freya saw Belle on side, but got an idea. One more way to humiliate Hestia even more. Go for it, Belle, she mouthed, knowing Belle's feeling towards the sword princess, which made her kind of angry. But she will try to stop them, but for now, she needs to make sure that Belle's happy, because if Belle's happy, then she, he will stay with her. Werner walked in front of Ice as he saw Rin and many turned towards him. Don't tell me the bunny is competing against Rin from the sword princess. Rin will win, he's a level 6 adventurer. I can't believe Lady Freya is allowing this. She must be dancing to his tunes. He must have really seduced her this time around. It would be embarrassing if the Hestia Familia best adventurer lost the sword princess to the weak bunny that abandoned the Hestia Familia. It would be funny, but I doubt it. She's eyes and she needs someone strong like her to stand beside her, was what was heard. May I have this dance, Miss Eyes? Belle said as he extended his hands, as Eyes nodded and took his hands. As as soon as that happened, the familiars and everybody around them were quick to react. Ha 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 ha. Rin got ditched and denied for a level 1. Wow, he lost to a level 1. He lost to the bunny, the weakest adventurer. I wish I was a walking bunny like Belkano, then I could get her. Not fair. The Hestia familiar owned twice in one day. And Rin destroyed twice in a day as well. It was what was heard as Bell and Eyes danced. Loki wasn't as mad as a cannon, but... Freya was somewhat angry as she went back to dreaming of hugging Belle. After an hour of dancing, Freya and Eyes had had turns, but now it was time for Belle to go back with Freya. But Belle and Freya made it back to the Hostess of Fertility, where Freya became Seer once again as she gave Belle lunch and Belle went out of Araya to train. He told Seer that he'll be back in a month, which made Seer pout and argue, but after Belle used his adorableness to charm Freya, she relented. But Freya demanded he be back before Monsterphobia, which was moved up to a month after, as she was pouting when he left. All right, Drake, I'm out. Now what? Belle said. Well, partner, first we are going to increase your strength, speed, and endurance by doing physical training. For the first half of the day, you'll be doing that. And then for the next half of the day, you'll be doing magical training. After that, we will test you and then repeat. Listen, partner, your world uses magic wrong. Magic is all about imagination. Imagine what you want and then compel your mana to do it and it will comply, Drake said. A month later, Belle could now handle about six boosts, had gained several magic attacks like armor break, which is, well, as it said in stuff like Issei's dress break, it breaks the armor, and weapon break, which breaks the weapons, and mana break. Mana break basically temporarily disables mana by breaking it, so the body has to, like, start recreating mana which will probably in about depending on how high you are it will take longer depending on how level, low your level you are it will take faster for the mana to regenerate of course when it's broken it doesn't regenerate to full it regenerates to like how much mana you had before he also had learned to control drake's purgatory flames which were crimson red flames and the green healing flames that drake had uh by the way that's a light novel spoiler so yeah he learned how to used elemental attacks and had read the grimoire Freya had left for him, which was Firebolt. Bell was now walking in the gates of Orario as he went to the hostess of fertility where Freya hugged him. Freya was in her safe form. When Freya saw Bell, she instantly ran up to him and smothered him against her breasts. Nice to see you again, Sir, Bell said, not wanting to expose her. You too, my bunny. I missed you, Sir replied. Let's go and date. I got some free time, Sayer told him as Bell nodded. Unknown to Bell, three people were spying on him. So that failure is back. It's time we do the plan. Yeah, he will pay for humiliating us and taking your girl to the dance ring. Time to die, Bell Cronel. You know what to do, Lee. 
used beast control to control that silverback to kill him and his friend Rin said and Ray you, sh you make sure to keep on using your skill of concealment to keep us concealed so we can watch him die and your other illusion skills to hide us Rin said got it boss Ray said Bill and Say was walking on the way they heard a scream as a silverback had escaped, escaped and made its way to Bell. So you won't fight? I've been wanting to fight to see how far my training's gone, Bell said. Bell, be careful, Say said. Don't worry, my beautiful goddess. I won't leave you ever. Now please stand back while I handle this, Bell said. As Freya nodded as she took a few steps back as she looked in the alleyway a far away as she saw Ota ready to step in if Bell was nearly well, if Bell was to be killed, to stop Bell from being killed. Ha ha ha. The weak adventurer thinks he could take on a silver back. He's dead, said, said the vi the people of Araria around. Dragon Booster, Drake said as a gauntlet materialized on Bell's arm. Boost, Bell heard as he felt power rush into him. Bell dodged an attack from the silver back. Boost, Bell heard as he felt more power and dodged two strikes on the silver back. Boost, Bell heard as he got even more faster and was now moving at unseeable speeds to most adventures since most of the adventures around were level 1s or 2s. Bell then kicked the silver back into the air, sending it flying up as Bell aimed his gauntlet as a red board of energy formed. Bell then did a push motion, dragon shot as the beam turned into of red energy of red energy ball turned into a beam and fired itself into the silver back monster, destroying it leaving nothing behind. Just before the attack was launched, the Loki familiar had gotten there, as they were amazed, but none more than eyes. It's like that time in the dungeon, he became stronger and faster. He was at a speed about level 3 or level 4, and his speed kept on doubling before. How was he doing that? What kind of skills does he have, was what eyes thought. And what's that gauntlet, she added to herself. No way, this wimp is Bel Canal, the weakest disgrace of the Hestia familiar, and adventures everywhere. I refuse to believe that Freya got him to level 4. Yeah, that's it. He joined Freya's familiar. Freya probably has an illusion type of adventurer who she had illusion in herself or himself into Bell to make it seem that Bell, that weak rabbit, was the one that defeated the silverback when it was actually one of her level 4 adventurers. I don't believe it. Plus, my old friend Rin told me how weak he is. It's an illusion, B Bait said. You truly are stupid, Bait. But I wonder what he is and how he gets so powerful so quickly, Kiona said. The rest stayed silent as Finn noticed Bell's gauntlet flash as he noticed that from what he was sensing that Bell's magic and strength and speed all returned back to the level ones as the gauntlet just dematerialized. Interesting, he thought. Impossible. How did that weakening failure disgrace kill that monster that should have killed him with ease? I refuse to believe that he's that strong, Rin thought. What now, boss? We failed. Lady Hestia, she will, she will. Lee was about to say, she will do nothing. But now we need to prepare an even stronger monster to kill him, Rin said. Bell heard shouts of celebrations as people cheered for him as Bell saw a familiar figure. Hey, Shin, Bell said. Oh, so you remember me? I heard you joined the Freya familiar. Damn, you've gotten stronger. That speed was incredible, but I expect nothing less from a guy who made it all the way to 18th floor without farmer. And let's not forget how popular you got him for beating a silverback at level 1. All by yourself, Shane said. Bell was walking with Freya to the hostess of fertility who was in her safe room. As Seir took Bell into the staff area and then told Bell to come into her room. Where she updated his stats and to her surprise there was a big leap in, her, in his stats. They all went beyond SSS rank which she thought was impossible. I knew my bunny was special, nobody will ever match up to him, he's the only one worthy of me, but perhaps I should reward him, a mortal can't have a child with a goddess, so maybe I'll, I should use that girl he's obsessed in, what's her name again, Ice Wallenstein, yes she can have a good purpose in my plans to give birth to his child for us to raise, Freya thought as she did a yandre laugh, Freya then pulled Belle into her bed as she smothered him into her breast as Drake laughed. All his hosts had luck with women, and Bell was no different. Time skip next day. Okay, Lady Freya, I'm off to the dungeons, Bell said as Freya nodded. 
get stronger my bunny become the best you can be and like then like no one ever was Freya said Bell made his way from floor to floor where he encountered it the reason why that stupid dog made fun of him in the first place a minor tool as Bell sensed a group of people coming he saw it was the group from before and that stupid doggy it was the Loki familiar he would show the dog the power of the Freya familiar his power and the power of the red dragon emperor ha 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 funny boy you haven't learned have you they say a minor to a level 2 beast and as a level 1 you can't beat it and now you don't have your lies or your illusions to help save you B said as Bell got mad dragon booster he heard as the gauntlet materialized on Bell's hand as Finn and Reveria was interested Reveria because he had lots of magic and Finn because of what he saw before hmm quite interesting I wonder why he summons that always to fight Finn said I don't know but I do sense a great level of magic power that can compare even to our goddesses in that Reveria said boost Bellhard as he dodged a slash from the minor tool boost Bellhard as he charged at the minor tool with level 3 speed and punched the minor tool with his gauntlet as it was sent flying but it wasn't even damaged. Oh shit, it's a Rex, yelled Tiona. If you don't know what a Rex is, it's an insanely powerful version of the monster. So if it was a level 2 beast, it could be like about a level 6 level. So yeah, that's what Bell's going to be fighting in this time round. As when Bell heard Tiona yell that, he got back. Oh shit, Drake, it's a Rex. I heard they could take out multiple adventures. And it takes a lot of adventures or even a whole party to take down one, Bell said. Don't worry, partner. Just stay back, wait for yourself to boost and take it down, Drake said. Boost Bell heard again as he used his speed to dodge narrowly. It's like the boy somehow gets stronger every 10 seconds. Don't help him, I want to see how strong he gets and if there's a limit, Finn said, as everybody apart from Eyes agreed. Eyes, please, let's just observe. I promise we will help him if he can't handle it anymore, Finn said. But Finn, it's a Rex. He's a level 1 adventurer. He won't be able to make it. Even we have to team him up to be a Rex. And he's only a level 1. We're full of level 5s and 6. We need to help him, I said. Eyes, why are you worried about that weak disgrace who got kicked out of his own familiar and became Freya's boy toy? Let him die, I'm so much better than him, Beat said. Well, F Beat, your jealousy is really showing. Don't you get it? Eyes doesn't think of you in that way. And you're acting really desperate, Yona said. Whether she is in denial, I mean, if she has Bunny for that weak Bunny, well then she obviously has even more feelings for an alpha male like me who's way more stronger than him, Beat said, as everybody in Loki's familiar side. Back with Bell, he dodged another slash that was coming towards him as he heard boost. He then punched the minor tool, sending it flying back and kicked it while dodging his slash belly. The boy's been good for level 1, though. If it was Beat or any other level 1, when they were level 1s, they would have been killed instantly. Even when we were level 1, we never had that kind of speed or power. And Beat and the others would also need help from Eyes or me to beat a Rex. So let's see the extent of this power, Finn said. But how? How is he getting this strong? He's not even a month into adventuring and he's getting stronger. And every 10 seconds, it's like his power doubles. His speed, intelligence, durability, magic, strength, everything. And he somehow keeps on increasing his magic reserves as well. And... That should be impossible because increasing mana reserves takes a long time but he's doing it in short times, he's doing it in a matter of seconds, Riveria said. I don't know but he's stronger than most of us were when we were level 1's, I said. Boost Bellhard as he moved even faster and punched the minor tool, sending it back a decent amount before charging at it with the speed of a level 5 adventurer and launching a combo of attacks. Impossible! How does he have this kind of speed or power? It's not, he's on my level now, but he's only a level 1. He's got to have some sort of unfair advantage or something. Freya definitely gave him something. He's a boy toy after all. Beat said, Okay, this shouldn't be possible. I have to agree with Beat on this one. He's pushing back a Rex at level 1, Riveria said, as, as Finn nodded. After this, check his stats, Finn said. Eyes looked shocked at Bell's power. He's amazing. Such power for a level 1. It shouldn't be possible, Eyes thought. Boost Bell heard. Alright partner, you've reached the limit your body can handle. Now, now unleash all your power in a single blast, Drake said. Got it Drake, let's do this, Bell said. As Bell kicked the miner to sending it flying up. Dragon shot Bell yells as all his energy formed into red en 
into a red ball as he does a push gesture and it turns into a beam that fires itself at the miner to destroying it. Impossible, he's a level 1 and he has destroyed a Rex. Was Rin lying to me? Calling that dumb weak bunny weak? Or was that bunny doing some cheats? Pete said. Well, that was unexpected. Well, that was unexpected, Finn says as he rushed towards Ice, who was currently rushing towards Bell, who had used up all his power and was fainting. Finn, he's out of power. His magic power and other stats decreased as soon as the as soon as soon the battle was over. I can still check his stats though, Riveria asked him, confirming if he wanted that to happen as Finn nodded. Riveria checks it and she turns around or shot. His stats are all SSS, but none are at the level where he should be able to solo that Rex all by himself. And not only that, his goddess is hiding some skills. He might be able to boost his level power or increase his stats somehow. Riveria says, and that dumb bunny's a level 1? What is it, Riveria? I want to know. Confirm to me if he's actually a level 1. Or if Rin lied to me, Beat says. No, he's still a level 1. But I don't know how this is even possible. This boy is somehow able to do the impossible, Riveria says. This boy's name is Bell, right, Eyes? Finn said his name, to which Eyes nodded. It's very interesting. The Freya Familia has quite a strong person in, on their hands. I wonder why the Hestia Familia will get rid of him. Perhaps they truly are as stupid as people say, Finn says as Ice took out her healing potion and healed him. Weldon awoke on Ice's lap, having the legendary lap pillow as he saw Beat was scowling. Where am I? Ice, is that you? Bell asked, going from calm to surprise as Ice nodded. nodded. I helped you with the healing potion and I watched you beat the Rex. How did you do it? Ice asked. Ah, uh, you saw that? Well, I don't know how I did it, but I just did it, Bell joked. But I have to go now. My goddess will be worried for me. Anyway, thanks for healing me. I'll pay you back later for that potion, Bo said as he rushed out. Bell had woken up with Freya in her safe room hugging onto him as a hug pillow. As he tried to get out, but Seir pulled him even closer every time he tried to escape, not wanting to lose her precious bunny and her heat. Men would kill to be in your position, partner. But I've been meaning to ask you. Why haven't you changed your armor? And the one you have right now is nearly broken. Perhaps you should get an upgrade soon. Or at least purchase a new version of it. I mean, with the crystals you sold yesterday being worth a lot, you could easily get yourself the best armor money could buy. Especially since it was a Rex miner too, Drake said. You're right, Drake. Thanks, Bell said. I'm always here for you, partner. I'm a dragon with million years of knowledge. Actually, even more than that, Drake said. A few hours later, Say had gotten up as she hugged onto Bell. Let's snuggle all day, she said as she looked at him with the puppy eyes, which took all of Bell's willpower to resist. Say, I would love to hug you all day long, but you got a shift and I have to go to the dungeons. I have to get strong for you, Bell said. Fine, but you better come back home early, Say said as Bell nodded. Anyways, goddess, I need you. I need some of my money. I'm going to go and buy some armor, Bell said. Can you check my stats as well and update them, if necessary? Rose said as Say nodded and she took some of his money out from where she kept it and gave it to him as she checked his stats. Oh, this is incredible. You've leveled up. You're level 2 now, Freya said as she was shocked as Bo smiled. I did it, goddess. I managed to level up. This is my adventure, Bo said as Freya hugged him. Yes, she did, my little bunny. Now get stronger and prove those idiots that called you weak wrong, she said as Bell nodded, as he thought of Beat, Rin and the whole Hestia Familia and everybody else who had ever made fun of him before that. A few minutes later, Bell was at the army shop where he was looking for some wealth armor as Drake recommended it since unlike other armors, it was well made and magic armor wasn't even as good. Well, it would be good but since Bell's magic is different and uses a high level of magic, it will break easily since Bell's magic puts more pressure than normal magic does on the armor, which will make it break quicker. After minutes of searching, Bell couldn't find it. Hey, sh hey Keep, where'd the well farmer go? Bell asked. We don't sell those anymore, kids, but you might want to try this magical armor. I know you're loaded, the shopkeeper said, but was interrupted. You wanted some wealth armor? Well, I'm wealth himself, wealth said as, as the two began to talk. After talking for a bit, they both realized that they were really friendly with, with each other as Wealth came up with the idea. So Bell, I wouldn't mind joining your party. 
I need to cover. I need to level up my crafting, and in return, I'll give you some armor for free. Wolf said. Sure, I never had a teammate before, but Drake said all my other hosts had, so it should be fun. Bell said as Wolf asked who Drake was, but Bell just said, "Oh, it was just nothing." As Bell was walking with Wolf, he heard that a new member had joined the fr the Lily, the Hestia familiar, and her name was Lily. Bell scowled at hearing his old, old familiar getting m new members and getting stronger. Bell was bang out this as. Bell realized that she was just a support and Bell never really needed any support since he could use the draconian magic which he could use his imagination to like use the magic to make the item smaller and easy to carry meaning he didn't have to waste time paying some support. This made it easier to carry items giving Bell no need for support. As Bell did that, Wolf looked at him with wide eyes. That's amazing Bell, I never knew that magic could be used like that. Wolf said, well it might just be Something I can only do, but we never know, Bell said. And plus we're only still learning it all about magic, Bell said as as the two entered the dungeon and for the next hours they cut their monsters until they heard a scream, a few screams actually, and a familiar ran into them. But this caused Bell to use more force than he intended to, which made him break the floor as Wealth and Bell fell to the ground while Mikoto and a familiar made it to the other side, just barely. I I'm sorry, we were in a hurry. We'll get some help as soon as we can, Mikoto yelled and then continued to leave with her familia running. As Bell looked at Wealth who sprained his ankle, he was somewhat angry but he knew that if he was in their position he would do the same thing. Wealth realizing his condition went up to Bell and said, well he never went up to Bell, he just like talked to Bell, just leave me Bell, make it out alive. We should be on one of the lowest floors which means it's going to be harder to survive and since I'm injured I won't really be able to do anything. Well said. But I was cut off by Bell. I'm not the Hestia familiar. Well, I'm not Hestia herself. I don't abandon people in the moments of weakness. We'll make it together. We'll show our strength. Now we should go to the safe room. We're on floor 15 and the safe room is on floor 18. Well said. But the floor 17, it has a bus. Well said. And we won't engage it. We'll just run past it. It'll take a few time for the full boss battle to activate. And with my powers, I could easily make it before that happens. I made it there once before, Bell said, as he remembered the time of his rage when Beat said those things about him. Partner, get ready. Monsters incoming, Drake said, as Bell boosted his power and charged at the monsters while carrying Wealth with him. I could easily beat the boss, but Wealth is injured, Bell thought, as he was about to enter the floor 17, the boss room, to get to floor 18, which is the safe room. I agree, partner, but right now, you should be concerned about your partner's well, your teammate's safety, Drake said, as Bell began to run. The boss charged at him, but Bell recognized something. The boss was faster than before. He knew how fast it was because when he was coming up, the Ganesha familiar fought it off and it was nowhere near this fast. Don't tell me, Bell said, as he heard boost from his gauntlet and an explosion which let him knew that the boosts have reached the maximum capability his body can handle. As the boss managed to hit Bell, which sent him flying to the dome door. Shit, it's a rat! There's only a few seconds before the doors lock down and the boss bar will act be activated. Drake, transfer all powers to my legs. Hold on, Well, we're gonna we're gonna make it. But you're gonna have to do this is gonna be a bumpy ride, Bell says, as he leaps off the Rex Goliath's hand. As he felt his legs shatter from the force that he jumped on it. And he made it through the door barely. Bell then passed out. When Bell woke up, he saw himself in a camp as he saw a familiar figure. This was Finn from the Loki familiar. Wow, I never thought I'd see you in this, this state, Bell. Cronel, Finn said as he explained how eyes found him and wealth and brought them back to their camp. The boss that spawned, it isn't an ordinary boss, it's a Rex, Bell said as Finn's eyes widened. This is not good, Bell, Cronel. A boss is one thing, but a boss Rex is nearly impossible to be, Finn said. Bell then got out and went outside as he waited for Wealth to heal, where he met Eyes, who looked as if she was waiting for Bell. Hi Bell, is everything good? Eyes said. I was waiting for you. How how do you get so strong, Bell? Eyes asked. Well, Eyes, thanks for saving me. And how I get so strong? Well, I guess I must be a reincarnation or something, or must be really lucky. But don't forget, wouldn't it be more fun if you figured it out yourself, Bell said as Eyes pouted. I'll find out one day, Bell Canal, I said. 
well that's okay it should be more fun for you to figure out yourself rather than me telling you bro said as i smiled you should smile more it looks good on you and it makes you look cute bro said as he said that unconsciously as he was saying the night was he didn't notice the eyes blushed after that bro saw mikoto and ryu and seir and friends just barely make it past the door knowing that the rex was still there with some loki party members as backup who had come back to help the injured but they were injured themselves an incident then occurred where some people tried to piss piss off bell by kidnapping wealth because bell had injured uh, has pissed has pissed off someone that was from a really well it was a really high up in the familiar as bell had taken care of them and sorted the problem out bell was now relaxing as he was talking to hermes who introduced himself say, uh, saying freya sent ryu here and he couldn't help but tag along with his captain alfie right now bell was in a meeting with the other familiars to talk about how to take care of the rex boss something that the whole loki familiar and the freya familiar struggled against my like, bunny don't start slow us down beat said but as soon as he said that a loud crash was heard and suddenly the floor broke as the rex goliath descended down with all of its terrifying glory as it looked through the hole and saw all these people all of these victims it could kill as when it punched the air pressure alone broke the shops the camps of people as the loki familiar charged at the goliath the rex goliath i managed to get some good attacks in but were sent flying back from one punch the other ventures started to attack but barely damaged the goliath what what power beat said impossible such power shouldn't exist tiona said we, we can't scratch it eyes yelled drake let's join in and help bell said dragon booster bell heard as he waited for his power to max out before joining in after he reached the maximum boost his body can handle which was a, at the power for level 7 eventually due to him having six boosts and him already being a level two he charged at the glyph punching it and sending it back what the hell how did that weak bunny pu punch do that much damage beat said bell i said clutching her sword as her hands were shaking just how powerful are you she thought how is the bunny so powerful he's only a level one tiona said well he could be a level two said finn finn how his power is so high it's like the time he fought the minor tool before he lost it when he fainted bavaria said i don't know but he might be the strongest here but i won't be enough but it won't be enough for the goliath to be defeated because it could take several six and seven level adventures and now we only have one i don't know maybe level six level seven maybe level five adventure extra ak bell but we still have a, a few of us which is which are at level six and fives but still we need a lot more all right everybody provide backup to bell finn said as everybody nodded the fight continued the goliath continued to attack after attack but no matter what they did bell the loki familiar and the rest couldn't even damage it as it just regenerated and almost everybody apart from ryu mikoto alfie loki familiar and bell were out of power and were recovering partner you can't hold on much longer and neither can the others drake said as bell was about to be hit by a punch from the goliath as he closed his eyes waiting for the sweet embrace of death but felt nothing as he heard a scream when he opened his eyes what he saw shocked him and made him angry he saw eyes was on top of him bleeding eyes bell heard her f familiar yell as he was also damaged from the impact eyes it's my fault you shouldn't have taken the attack not for me bell said with tears in his eyes don't cry bunny he heard her say bell was about to get up but was quickly pulled aside by hermes hermes i need to help eyes is familiar she has helped me but bell said no bell we need to talk right now right now you're not in the right state of mind and you just get yourself killed eyes is fine alfie is healing her as we speak now remember bell remember the reason you fight for remember why you decide to become a adventurer and use it to conquer this foe Hermes said as bell started to remember the stories his grandfather told him his reason to be a hero how being a victor doesn't matter all that matters is saving everyone and everything partner i have an offer i could grant you power beyond any other but you will have to sacrifice something and you'll only have it for 10 seconds drake said as bell chose to sacrifice his heart becoming a half dragon half human now go my partner show them the true power of the red dragon emperor 
Drake said as everybody looked up. Well, as Bell looked up, as he saw everybody fighting, everybody was healed, including Eyes, but he saw them one by one get dispatched off as they went back to get healed. Eyes, I'll make it up to you. You got hurt protecting me, and I won't allow anybody to ever hurt you, Sir, or anyone I care about ever again. Bell yelled as everyone, including the low key familiar, stopped to look, even the guy stopped to look at Bell. What is he doing now? That idiot, Beat said. I think the kid just made the Goliath just redirect all of his attention towards himself. What is he doing? An adventurer said. As they saw the Goliath look at Bell with anger as it charged towards him. Bell, what are you doing? I said. What is your plan, Bell Cronel? The only one I can't read or know anything about, Finn said. Well, Stragon, over Booster. Everybody heard from Bell's gauntlet was a deep voice that said that as scales began to surround Bell as it created an armor around him. Now I will show you the true power of the Red Dragon Emperor, you filthy beast, Bell said, as he flew towards the Goliath and a single punch sent it flying back. Ten, Bell heard say. Bird, uh, Bell heard Drake say, followed by a boost. Bell then did a barrage of punches, destroying its arms and legs as it regenerates. Nine, Bell heard Drake say, as it was followed by a shout of boost from the sacred gear. Bell then kicked his head off, shocking everybody. What is this power? How is that dumb, weak, funny? He, this powerful, he's only a level 1 or a level 2. He shouldn't have this kind of power, Beat said angrily. Bell, what is this power, I thought? This power just creeps on growing, Finn said. And it's not and it's not even stopping at 10 seconds like it was before. It's just growing passively, Riveria said. I don't know what he's done, but it's like the armor somehow broke the balance and shifted in his favor. He no longer has to wait 10 seconds before powering up before boosting his power, Finn said. 8 Bell heard Dra Drake say, followed by a boost. Bell then punched the top body of the boss off, sending it flying into the air. 7 Bell heard Drake say, followed by a boost. Partner, finish this quickly. Don't make the same mistake as one of the previous hosts did. Don't get too confident in your power. You need to end it now. Don't forget your own time limit, Drake said, as Bell nodded. As he punched the Glyph once again, sending it upwards even higher as he came down to the floor. Boost, 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 Bell heard as his armor shifted to a cannon appearing on his back. Dragon Blaster was what was heard, as that what everybody heard as a huge beam went towards the Glyph, consuming it and destroying it, leaving no traces of it behind. Everybody started to cheer after they got over the shock as Hermes looked like he had an orgasm. Such power, he has sold it a wreck with insane Regeneration, Zeus, did you know this? Your grandson is amazing. No, he's beyond amazing. He defied anything that the gods did. He defies the limit that the gods have set for him. He could boost his level without a goddess upgrading it for him. Hermes said, shocked, surprised, and really entertained. Holy shit, was what Tiona said. First a Rex Minotaur and now a Rex boss. And that too a Goliath, known for insane regeneration. Lady Loki needs to know about him. He's special, Riveria said. Broke and roll, just... Who are you? Finn said. Impossible. You lied to me, Rin. I'll get you back. We're no longer friends. And now there's nothing. He has Eyes' affection, but he also has her love. I deserve it, Beat said. Yo, you're amazing, I said. Shocking everybody that the Sword Princess had just said that. She that he she had just complimented someone, which has never happened. After that, they heard counters up as Bell stumbled to the ground after his armor broke off him. As it was caught as he was caught landing his head between her breasts. Everybody is in awe. After a few days, Bell woke up as he felt something soft and looked to see blonde hair. When he looked up, he saw it was eyes. Eyes, what are you doing? And why am I in your lap? I never did anything bad, I swear, Bell said. You passed out, Bell, so I took care of you. As thanks for taking care of the boss, Eyes said. Uh, it was nothing, Eyes, Bell said. But I should be thanking you. You saved me from that hit, Bell said. Oh, don't worry about it. You, you're a cute bunny. I can't let cute bunny get hurt, I said. As Bell got up and the party made it to back to the top floor, back to the overland, as everybody celebrated, Bell went to Freya, who was worried about him. As they celebrated and they realized he leveled up to three. But guys, that's all for today. Peace. 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 Peace.